do not forget to subscribe to The Slant of the Lens. We need your support. We got great lessons coming all through 2015. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slant of Lens, we're going to show you some simple lighting setups for your home studio. We're not going to use really high-end lights. We're going to use very affordable, achievable lights that anyone can pick up for under $300, probably under $200 for what we're going to use today. Now, this isn't cowboy lighting stuff, which is just I just think is just junk. It doesn't last very long. The stands fall apart. It isn't a place to start. I think if you step into the first studio setup that uh, Photoflex has, it gives you very simple lights with umbrellas that really give you a lot of options to be able to light. So let's look at what happens when we do a one light setup with a reflector as a fill. We're going to do a two light setup. Then we're going to do a three light setup with two people and then show you how to do a dramatic portrait of the end all using these same inexpensive lights on just a white backdrop in our home studio. So let's get started and see what we can do. So my first light, I'm going to put just a camera right here. So if I'm standing up here, camera right, I'm going to have my light just off to my right. So with this umbrella, I'm going to control the light on his face and the light on the background. If I pitch this umbrella way back towards the camera, I can still keep a nice highlight on his face. But if I want to take and make the background brighter, then I turn this thing almost straight towards the background. As I do that, I keep the highlight on his face, and I, but the background becomes very bright. So let's take a quick shot of that. And there we go. Nice. So now we're going to add a just a simple reflector. So I have a 7-in-1, but you can use a 5-in-1, which is absolutely fine. You just need something white. You could use a bed sheet just to fill his shadows in just a little bit. So I'm going to move this reflector in so I can just bounce a little light into the back of his head. And voila, one light setup with a bright white background. Now we're going to move on to a two-light setup. We did a nice one light with the reflector as a fill. Now we're going to do two light. We can do one of two things with our two light. We can put it up front and make it very flat. If you have a single person there, probably not my favorite thing to do. I would probably take it as a rim light and put it on the camera left side and rim him from that side and let that be a nice rim on him to separate him from the background. So let's start with that and see what that looks like. All right, what I'm gonna do with my second light here is I'm gonna take this umbrella and I'm gonna get a little tighter on it. And the tighter you get it, the smaller the area that's gonna fill the umbrella and the harder the light it's gonna give us on his face. So this is making it just a little bit harder. It's gonna be pretty harsh and just see what we get. It's gonna give us a pretty heavy highlight on the side of his face. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Yeah, more than I want, I think. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and pan this away a little bit. So I'm just catching the corner of the umbrella as you see on his face here. I'm just catching, if I move this in, it's really heavy. Out, starts to see a little softer. And let's see what we got here. There we go. I've got a decent shot of him there. So we have one light set up from the right and a rim light from the left. These are fairly harsh lights. It's part of the way that with these inexpensive lights that you get a, enough a power out of them as you have a silver lined umbrella. And with a silver lined umbrella, when these things bounce down, it gives you a very hard light. It also keeps the umbrella from bursting into flames, which is a nice thing. So now we back up in here. There we go. So now we've shown you what you're going to do if you have a single light, and then we did a light with a rim on Spencer. But now let's show you, if you have two people in here doing an interview, two people talking, or two people on a YouTube channel, want you to see them together talking, the first thing I would do if I'm just in a real hurry is I would just take my light I would move it right to the center. So I'm going to set this right above the camera. It's going to keep my background bright and it's going to let their shadows fall off the background or at least directly behind them and it gives me a nice look at the two of them. Now I'm going to have to get myself right underneath here so that I can see the two of them in place. And there we go. That's nice. So now we have just a little bit of rim on Kate on this left hand side. But what we don't have with this kind of a light is your background is never very bright. So remember, side light was lighting our background and our person. When we bring this light up front, it's not going to light our two people and the background. It would give us a nice white background because it's too far away from the background. You can't have the background brighter than their faces because it's further away from the light. So we're now going to add a third light on the background to brighten up that background. It's down low. It's going to shine on the background behind them. It's going to give us a nice white background. 
Uh, that's what I love about these first studio lights is that small bowl makes it so you can make a fairly small uh, area of coverage uh, and it's not too large. You can put them behind people. It's not a big piece of equipment. You need to get behind everyone. So let's take a picture of that and see what we've got here. Did you guys switch sides? Oh no, move back. My third light is just a little bright behind the two of them. If you don't have ND, which I do have here, but if you don't have ND, you can put a little piece of white tracing paper over it, which will probably burst into flames eventually and kill everyone. So tracing paper is a bad idea, but parchment paper is perfect. If you have it to go in the oven, you can throw this on the light, it's gonna knock it down. So that's exactly what I'm gonna use, a little piece of parchment paper to knock that light down just a little bit. So here's my oven baked parchment paper we're going to throw on the light just to knock it down a bit. Let's see what happens. All right, looking here for me. So there's our three lights set up with two people. I'm going to take this light. I'm going to move it more to the side, which gives us a nice, uh, really gives us a nice loop light on both their faces. I can get it just enough to the side to make that work all right. So from this position with this single light more to the side, I just got to look at their two faces. Where's the highlight if I move it too much to the right? Kate gets a little too dark. If I move it too much to the left, then Spencer's gonna to get too dark. So I've gotta find the place where I kinda of even it out. This gives me the option for skin tone that I can turn the light right or left. The person has a darker skin tone, I can brighten them up and I can even them out using that light, just kinda of moving it right to left, kinda of even out the light on their faces. So I've got it in a place now where I've got a nice light on both their faces. Now the nice thing about putting the light more to the side and it's a lot easier to work with is that I can get back a lot further and I can go with the longer uh, focal length on my camera lens which collapses my background gets my lights out of the way. So I'll step way back here. I got a lot more white background behind them. I can see a lot more of them and there's a great shot. So there we've gone from a one light setup which was just a single light on Spencer and a little pan of the light to keep it off the background or on the background. We went to a two light setup where we put a rim behind him. And then we put Kate in there where we put that one light back in the middle in order with the rim on the left and that gives us a nice light for two people. Then we added a background light on there to open up our background, make it a little wider, a little brighter. And now we move this off to the side so we can work with a bigger background because we can get further away with a longer focal length. Now the last thing we're gonna do is try to do something a little bit dramatic. It's a dramatic light with just Spencer. Spencer's dramatic moment is about to begin. Now, I've got a huge source. I've got a big, big umbrella here that I'm trying to make something dramatic out of. It's lighting everything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this little dude off in the background. I'm gonna move Spencer away from the background a little bit and sit you down. He's a lot closer to light now, which means his light skin is gonna make it easier for me to make him bright and the background a little darker. I'll now move this in even closer, pan this way out. I'm gonna be able to get something that's pretty dramatic. So there's a much more dramatic look at Spencer's face just by bringing this light around a little further away from the background and gives us a really pretty look. If I want to open his face up a little bit, this little dramatic shot, I can certainly uh, bring in my reflector and just put a little bit of light on the side of his face. Now here in this place, I can get in really tight on Spencer's face and I can do some nice little portraits. This is a really pretty light. It's soft enough, it wraps enough, we're working with really inexpensive lights here, but it isn't the light that matters as much as how you learn to, to feather them and to use them to either make a broad white light setup or a little more distinct, a little more directional, dramatic portrait. So there's some great lighting setups for your home or office studios. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. For all of our Slant Lens listeners, we're offering the first studio light kit only on the Slant Lens website where you get two lights, two stands, two umbrellas, and we're throwing in a light disc, 32 inch light disc for $264. We're offering that entire kit as the perfect lighting setup. You have your key light, you have a great fill light, and a light for your background. It's really everything you need to get started in your first studio. It's the perfect setup to get started at a price point that makes excellent sense. Get your first studio lighting kit with a light disc thrown in that gives you everything you need to get started. So go to thatslidinglens.com, it's a great deal. Hey, SKB has been our sponsor for two weeks now, but you still have two weeks to win one of these cases. So go to thuslandlens.com. Don't miss out. These are fabulous cases.